This is Sears Supreme, and this is Sears Village. We've been in this chunk for 1,400 hours, and we only have five tasks left to complete of over 200. Going from one to 99 thieving from only pickpocketing men and women, and killing 120,000 elementals for their rune drops to get 79 magic is no easy feat, but that's what we signed up for. So join me as I take on RuneScape one chunk at a time, starting in Seer's Village. This is Seer Supreme, and this is my journey. The final five. Look at it. Isn't it just bloody gorgeous? I'm so excited to see this page get blacker and blacker, to be honest. More black being in there. Because what it means is, is that we're getting closer and closer to that next chunk roll. And this episode, there is quite a lot of progress, actually. Although, who knows? Maybe we don't actually tick that much off. But maybe we do. Why don't you stick around, eh? Oh, there is our first Earth Impling on the account. Very good. Unicorn horn. Don't think that unlocks anything, but... I can always check, can't I? Just to, just to make sure. Can confirm, does not. Thank God. A minuscule break from woodcutting to kill some elementals. And we got a mystery box. So what that means is we're about to get the stale baguette. Duh. Duh. I had to retract that duh because... Uh, you know, yippee! I missed it again because I was watching YouTube videos. That's 70 strength and 84 combat. I am a big old boy. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna carry on with strength now. I think just keep going until probably get 99 killing elementals while I wait for that 79 magic. But. I also have actually something else I've been saving, so let's go, let's kill this and I'll go do that as well. Be right back. Overall, it's been uh, quite a nice haul, actually. Been killing elementals for a few hours now, I guess, like on and off. Uh, but we've essentially got almost well, over 1500 air runes, over 100 nature, some death over 100 chaos and some lore as well uh, and that takes us up to getting close to 600k now so that's very very good um so what i wanted to do was show you guys something very specific so i'm just going to quickly get geared up to chop some logs and then uh let's go through it see what see what I've got in store okay so we run across to these beautiful beautiful trees that we've been looking at for probably about 1500 hours now but if I just click and hope this goes fast enough there it is 14 million wood cutting XP now that's not great because we are now a, almost a million over 99 and we still don't have the beaver and i was kind of hoping that i would get it but i guess technically now i don't have any more wood cutting things to do because the forestry is basically done um fletching's done fire making's done so all i've got to to worry about is the uh, the beaver and I'm still in my head, not completely certain whether I should go for um, go for the beaver in this chunk or whether I do my 99 again in the next chunk idea. Well, it wasn't my idea; it was someone in the comments' idea. Don't want to take uh, don't want to take that from them. But yeah, I don't know. I like the idea of just moving on. But I also like the idea that we essentially, we, we, we're a supreme, we should do everything, right? That's the whole point in it. 
And I guess, you know, doing 99 over and over again in each next chunk is still technically supreme. So that's that's a nice argument to make for it. And that was my phone, sorry. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I may well have made a decision by the time you see this and hear this. But I, I am quite conflicted now. But I guess what, I'm, what I am doing, which is quite nice, is that I'm... I'm doing either thieving or killing elementals until I've got basically 5 HP. And then I'm coming to trees to chop the trees until it regens back to full. And that gives me my time at trees to get the beaver. And then I go back and just keep switching between the two. Which keeps it varied so I don't get too burnt out with what I'm doing. And it also means that I can progress three things you know, relatively at the same time. And it also means that if I do get a little bit lucky with this, I will leave this chunk with everything completed. So, oh, it's just exciting, isn't it? I'm just so excited. High Elk, 24 sturdy beehive parts and 20 staffs of air. And I almost got 100K in GP. That's a tenth of what we need just for you know, a couple of days of messing around at trees and killing elementals. That is pretty good. We got very lucky with the beehive events. Um, but the other thing is, I also got this last night and I completely forgot until I just looked at my bank. So, stale baguette? Absolutely not. Book it. What was what we need? Yeah. <laughs> Also, when I drop this into my bank, we're going to be over 600k. We are honing in on that 1 mil GP. It's taken us, well, we can have a look right now. It's taken us 53 days and 5 hours of in-game playtime to earn 675k. So, by that reckoning, we should only need another month or so but I reckon we could get that done way quicker once I start fully killing elementals again because I'm kind of doing wood cutting while my health my HP uh, wood head brain come on it's right there regens yes come on I'm so good at this talking business while my health regens uh, I do wood cutting because then I can still go for beaver. Um, and then over here, bit of thieving, lose all my HP, come back, regain it here, go do some elementals, come back, etc. etc. You know, you get it. Came back to do wood cutting while my health regens, and we have just hit 60,000 maple logs, which. As far as, oh, and by the way, I reshuffled this part of the bank with some uh, bank fillers just so I've got stuff in lines, which looks to me better. Once we fill these out, obviously, I think it'll look better. Anyway, ignore that. Uh, so we've got 60k there, about 15 ish k here, so that's 75, plus all the ones that we've used in the beehive event, plus all the ones that we've used to get 60 fire making. I reckon we're over 100,000 logs cut, maybe closer to 150,000 logs cut for, for maple. Um, I think the drop rate for maple was like 214 or something, I can't remember. So I'm, I feel like I'm either halfway to the drop rate for maples or because if you add the 20k, you know, maybe maybe I've done a bit more, maybe I've done 22 to 25k use um, and you add in all the stuff here that I used to get all the different forestry items and doing the fire making and the fletching and oh, I forgot about fletching as well, yeah maybe I did a oh no these would be fletching wouldn't they I reckon that I'm, you know I'm, I should be close to beaver rate fairly soon fairly soon but oh yeah, I'm not going to whinge about it. I'm just going to enjoy the game. I'm going to have fun. I'm cutting trees. It's all chill. So we're just going to smash it. All right. That's what we're here for.
Positivity. Hey. Hey, Baldy. Hey. Hey, come over here. Hey. Uh, are you talking about me? Uh, cha. Do you see anyone else bold around here? Do you want... Come here, quick. Do you want something super cool from the outside world? I... Yes. Sure. Yeah. Okay. There you go, you dick. Have a, have a little look at that. Have a, have a look at that. Uh, thanks, I, I, I guess. We have got something very exciting to show. Something that I never expected to happen. Because I didn't even expect it to happen on my Group Iron account. You know, before I got 99. And then just carried on trying to get that bloody golden pheasant egg. But what we've managed to do on this momentous day is get level 100 woodcutting. Level 100. Now, I can't figure out how to make this say 100 i'm sure it's probably a tick box in here somewhere maybe if i type virtual no maybe it's a plugin of some sort i don't really oh maybe if i turn it on that would help there we go i turned it on that's all you needed to do bloody idiot yep so we got 100 so that's pretty good um we're still going for beaver and we are currently climbing those high scores as well which is uh it's pretty good i think last time i checked i was like in the 700s for hardcore iron men uh i mean we could just uh check right now so apologies to everybody stood in the sears village bank right now because i'm about to just talk about something you don't care about 746 and actually i've got a bit more you know that i haven't actually up because i haven't logged out yet so yeah we're climbing we're climbing we're catching buzz that's what we're doing we're catching buzz rs i mean he's on like 150 some million because he's a bloody nerd but we'll get there right grace has shined upon us we get one more attempt let's bloody go Ugh. Ugh. Mm. Uh, uh, uh oh. Uh, uh oh. And I completely missed it because I was recording the wrong screen again. Uh, but that means we're only two levels away from being able to cut all of our rubies now. Which is pretty good. Oh crap, it's four levels away. Okay, whatever, four levels. Um. I feel like we do have a shot of getting 43 crafting, you know. Hmm. Yeah, potentially we can. There's a long way to go yet in this chunk, so we'll have to just see. But I've got a good feeling about it. We're about to hit another milestone. And I quite like telling you that we're hitting milestones. Because it's kind of exciting, isn't it? Um, but any second now, that little fella here is going to chop a little bit of this little tree here off. And then up in this corner here, you're going to see something like, come on, like, there we go. 15 million woodcutting XP. We still don't have the beaver, but, you know, 15 million is a good... It's a good number. That's even higher now. No, it's not. I was going to say it's higher than what's on my uh, group iron, but I think my group iron's got almost 20 mil, actually. Um, but that's that's good. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to be here for a number of months still anyway. So, essentially what it means is that I'm still doing this trick where I uh, come over here to regen my health. Um, and it just gives me a lot of AFK time so I can edit some stuff and watch some videos and play some other games. Just relax, man. Just chilled out. I hope you're all chilled out as well. I'm feeling all warm and cosy. Look who it is. Bloody unguided turning up finally to say hello. 
been getting this promise for a long time. But here he is. It's nice to see Unguided here though. If you haven't seen his uh, YouTube series, then you definitely should be because it is so, so good. Quests without any outside help. Uh, so good. Anok Alt. What a legend. Thank you so much. God, I love the community. They are just the best people. After hours and hours of just clicking on these men and women, after 30,000 pickpockets, we have finally reached. Please don't hit me in the face. I knew she was going to hit me in the face. I knew it. I knew it. I bloody knew you would. The 60th even. Look at that. Gorgeous. Bloody gorgeous. We've only got another billions to go. But 60 is a nice, nice number. I think I just casually overlooked the fact that all of these men and women now have numbers above their heads in the last clip. But reason for it, and you've probably already figured it out anyway, I don't need to tell you, but essentially this counts down the five minute timer for when they're supposed to you know, teleport back to their normal positions. And it's wrong. And I've been saying it's wrong for a while because everyone keeps telling me it's five minutes, but I don't think it is. I thought it was, see that these two just, what was that like? I don't know, five and a half or maybe six minutes? Yeah, five and a half. So I think the timers are slightly off and I don't know why. I don't know if it's dependent on the type of mob, like maybe men and women are five minutes, whereas like RD nights, for example, might be a bit longer or a bit shorter. I don't really know. But when I said it was like six, or seven minutes, I wasn't wrong, but I also wasn't right. But everyone that said five minutes also wasn't wrong, but also wasn't right. So, you know, we're back to a level playing field, me and you. You and I. Us and we. They and them. You know, 20 million total XP. 15 million of that in Woodcoin. That's uh, a key theme that we're going to be seeing over and over again. That's pretty good. 20 million. I'm saying I've only been playing since, uh, you know, October last year. Happy with that. Okay, with that latest alking session finished, we are now... Da -da -da, over 800k. That is so, so nice to see. Which means we only need 175 more k more dollar dollar bills, more poundage, or insert other currency here, um, away from the, the one mill that we need, which is pretty good, because it means that essentially now we've talked about the five things that we need to do to finish the chunk. One of them, as I said, is the easiest, but that is very close to now being complete. And then the other two things are, I'm kind of done with the wood cutting grind technically, based on the original rules and the updated rules. Um, and now I only come here when I'm editing or playing other games or, you know, just relaxing, try want to have some AFK time. And um, so the real two other things, because crafting is also a side goal, is thieving and magic. Uh, and we are hammering through thieving, to be fair. Uh, we're currently level 60, I think that was the latest uh, latest video, I, uh, clip I did, yeah, 60. Um, um, I think I worked out 80 is about on rate, just pickpocketing men and women to uh, the Rocky Pit. So I'm hoping now I am probably about, what would you say, a quarter of the way through to drop rate, potentially. Mm, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Quarter of the way through. Sounds about right. Maybe a third. Uh, and the magic grind is just long, man. It's just long. I've got to get so many runes from these elementals. I'm going to be here for years. Uh, but one thing I did want to just quickly chat about, because 
I don't think I've really mentioned it before. With the kind of with, with the magic grind and with the crafting grind, with the wood cutting, not real grind anymore, um, and the thieving grind. I reckon, and don't hold me to this. All right, listen here. Don't you dare hold me to this. Okay. I reckon I'll be out of this chunk by June. Famous last words. And it's now currently end of March, so it'll be in April very, very soon. So I'm kind of running out of time now I've said that out loud and put it into the universe. But I reckon I reckon I could be out in June. If I put some good hours in, June sounds fairly reasonable. Um, and if that's the case then I won't have even been in this chunk one year, unlike some people. You know what I'm saying? Buzz. Looky, looky here. A mystery box. Right, we're getting our fingers crossed for something useful, because, come on, I need to get something good, right? I'm dry on everything now. Than what we, you know, we've been quite a few things, but now we're dry, and I don't like it. So here we go. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, oh, that's okay. That's all right, I guess. I need some moolah. <laughs> uh, that's great. We need more of this. We need more of this. <laughs> uh, it's right over there, look, on the floor. And that means that there's now only one more thing left on the young implin drop table, and that is a garden pie. Um, and then once we've got that, we can essentially skip all the way up to uh, gourmet implins if we get to Pura Pura. Because I think, let me just have a quick check. I've only got a couple more things left on the baby table as well, so that's good. Saved us some time in the future. Well, 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 look where we are again. Another High Alk session. And now, as you've probably guessed already, boom, 933k. Another session like that, and we're done. <clears throat> we the One mil finished, completed, completed it, mate. Don't worry about it, completed it. What a lovely day. 101. That's uh, that's how the woodcutting we're level we're at now. One hundred and one. We are doing a bit too much woodcutting, if you ask me, or anybody else. We just breached sixteen million woodcutting XP. Sixteen million. Holy crap! Like, I'm genuinely I'm catching up with the group iron, and that's been woodcutting for years at this point, and I've managed to get there in five months ish. God, I love woodcutting. It's so good. We still don't have the beaver, which you'll obviously not be surprised to hear, since you haven't seen a clip with me getting it so far. And you know, it's probably be out there in the in the universe when I get it. But I just wanted to say that based on the original rules, you, you, not you particular, me, unless you're doing the same as me. Um, I'll have to get another 13 million XP in my next chunk um, and so far I've already got three extra in this chunk so that'll count towards the next one so I'm essentially banking woodcutting XP at this point so in the next chunk I'll only have to get 10 million unless you know we, we go for another million or two million or whatever um, so that's pretty good it's all useful it's not like i'm wasting time here i'm actually getting something out of it so and obviously i still get the chance of the beaver which is another thing that is also worth going for when i'm editing or playing other games or whatever you know the spiel by now uh, but that's good 16 mil absolutely amazing holy moly it's finally happened i got Kill a man for the key. Been waiting for this for five and a half months now. 
so I should be able to choppity chop choppity chop there is the key medium <laughs> that is the final drop from men and women sorry the final drop from oh no it's not even that because I need to kill a man on free to play for the gold okay so basically it's just the gold from free to play and the gold from free to play for women now and those two drop tables are done nice that is so good I'm actually going to chuck this in the bank now because I don't need medium clues anymore so all we really need is uh, is the easy clues so I'll put it in there like that got the medium beginner medium hard and elite don't need to use any of those easy as I can still get an easy casket if I try hard enough and I'll put that key medium in there because that is Yanil so it's not too far away which means it could be just the one that I use eventually but that's good that is really lucky I'm so happy that I finally got that that has been so I mean we talked about that in like episode one and we're now in episode 11 like holy are you ready are you ready for this 60 magic 19 more levels left to go and things are getting considerably steeper in terms of xp remaining but it's you know it's worthwhile um, i'm using earth blast and earth bolt now instead of fire because it's less air runes and i think that means actually overall it's slightly less kills because I was thinking about 120,000 um, air elemental kills but it's probably going to be less than that now right we have just finished the final high alk session that we need to do and now anything past this moment is just to get magic xp because now we have finally reached 1 million GP. Doesn't that look so good? So now we can take this. Oh, not bank. We need to talk to the banker. Hello, sir. Good day. I'd like to buy some more bank slots, please. 360 additional ones in sets of 40. So, like we discussed, but... I'd like to just remind some people we need to buy one of these every time we unlock a new bank so purchase that 40 slots please yes we'll be down to 8k <laughs> oh there's another task done so as I was saying just to confirm the next time we will need to get something will either be Cathaby the bank in Cathaby there or there's this one in the Legends Guild. I don't think I necessarily have to be able to use the bank. I think as long as I unlock the chunk that it's in, that should still count. So there's Cathaby, there's Legend, Legends Guild. There's also this one in the Fishing's Guild here. Fishing Guild. Uh, and then there's one in RD down here. Um, I might be able to get to the... Isn't there one here somewhere? Yeah, there's one in this... Um, Champs Guild, Warriors Guild. There's one in there. Um, and there's one over here at Barb Assault as well. So now I'm surrounded by quite a few. So if we talk to this person again, basically the first one was one mil, the next one is two, then it's seven, 17, all the way up to almost a bill for this one. So that's, cr that's crazy. You know, if we unlock one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, if we unlock eight more banks, we are. <laughs> oh dear, we better hope we've got some good money makers by that point. Jeez. But there you go. There's one of five tasks completed. So now we've got four big ones left. You may be wondering why I'm here and why this man is quite important right now. So. We've talked before 
about there are multiple shops that I need to get stuff from and we kind of highlighted two in the chunk. One of them was the pub, the barkeep at the pub, uh, because he had a few food items to buy, which we did. And there's the forester who sat just outside the bank who also has some forestry items that we need to buy. And a lot of that's collection log, but hold on a minute, hold on. Let's catch this thing first. Uh, okay, we already got that. Um, yeah, sorry, anyway. Um, and the forester, there's a lot of stuff we have to do collection log wise with him, but there are some stuff in there that is just shop stuff. So we did all that. But one thing I didn't note was that technically the estate agent is also a kind of shop. Because if you go to um, redecorate my house, this is technically stuff that I can buy. It's essentially a shop, really, isn't it? Um, and actually, technically, technically, while I'm thinking about it, moving the house portal is also the same thing because it costs money to move it around. So technically, I should be able to do some of this right now. I can't do these because I think I have to open these chunks to open these different um, lo locations. But the redecorate your house one, this is all based on construction level. So, this one here you can do at level 1, and it's already the style, so that's fine, that's already completed and checked off anyway. But these go up in 10 levels of construction. So this is 10 construction, 20 construction, 30, 40, 50, so on and so forth. Um, and you haven't seen this yet, because I kept missing getting it, because I was on my laptop or whatever at the time, so I couldn't record any of it, so I just kind of went, ah, whatever. But we do have 18 construction just from beekeeper events, uh, beehive events. So technically, right now, I can buy this one, and in two more levels, I can also buy this one. So, once I put those levels into the chunk picker, it came up with 10 construction. So, clickety-click, your house has been redecorated. 5k gone, done. So that's a construction task that's ticked off the list, which is great. But more importantly, 85 combat. Hey yo! So we're getting big now. I think, to be honest, after this grind, we might be getting up towards 100 combat, I reckon. Because I've got to kill, you know, let's say it's just for argument's sake, 90,000 air elementals. I reckon I'd be. Probably close, I think. We'll see. Well, this episode is slowly drawing to a close. Um, and because you guys mean so much to me, and thank you for everything that you do for me, there's one last thing that I would like to show you before we get into the customary chunk picker. So, without further ado, here it is! Yes! We did it! Thank God. Thank everybody and everything. Yes! I can't. I can't even. I can't even. Come on! <laughs> I did, this is... Uh, wow. Uh, my brain is, is melting. And it's coming out of my eye holes and my ear holes. That is such a spoon. That is so good. I can't believe this. Literally, we've only got a few things left now. We're not. We're not far away. That saved me so much time. <laughs> that means that we've only got realistically the magic grind left. Because crafting, as I keep telling you all, but I'm going to tell you again because I'm so fucking pumped right now. The ah, oh, my brain, my brain. The crafting grind is a secondary grind that I just put on myself because I was like, we might as well while we go to finish the chunk anyway. We've got 99 wood cut in, so technically we don't need to <clears throat> do beaver till the next chunk, technically, based on my original rules. And what was the... Oh, we've, we've done the other one. So yeah, it's, it's that's it. 
Oh. Oh. It feels good to get a pet on a Supreme account. Oh my god! I just got 70 HP! God. <coughs> Excuse me. I did, uh, did not realise I was that close. I was too excited about everything else. <laughs> Boy is going in the bank. There he is. Hopefully this will be his comfy new home. And um, we won't get a rollback because it is Wednesday right now. And they did just do the, the system update. And if they roll back my goddamn Rocky, I will be putting in a formal complaint to every mod under the sun. Okay? I've worked hard for this guy, alright? I only got spooned very slightly, okay? But hopefully, he's just going to sit there now. Be a good little boy. So, that... And I know this for a fact, because I'm currently editing this video right now as we speak. This is going to be the last clip of this episode. So I assume right now, unless again I'm just wildly wrong like I usually am, we'll be moving to the Chunk Picker. Not to roll though. Welcome everybody. What an episode. I am still reeling from that Rocky. Uh, I am I'm so, so happy right now. So this is basically one of the last times you might see this looking as it does with only four chunks to pick from because as you've just witnessed we have done the change the house style with the new 10 construction that we've got uh, that is side goal remember 79 magic is still required working on that working at it pretty pretty hard we got the key medium drop finally after five and a half months so that was very very good we got 99 and a bit more um, but there is no I'm kind of more inclined now to get the beaver than I was you know two hours ago three hours ago so I may even still go for that just so I can say that I've 100 percented completed this chunk it, 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 regardless of everything else I've done everything I can possibly do we got Rocky, so there's that bad boy gone. What a day. What a day. And that can also come off that one as well. And we also got the one mil for the bank slots, which took longer than expected, but way quicker than it could have been, which is great. So there you go. Look at that. Arguably, two tasks remaining. Realistically, three if you count. The diamond which you know it, we, i've got to essentially use random events and the gem drop table to get it which kind of to me sits a bit outside the uh, supreme rules even trying to train through random events is a bit nuts but if we can get it perfect we'll go for it because we still have you know eighty thousand air elementals to kill we could get a lot of gems by the end of that grind um so yeah that's that's really it for today uh, before I leave you with the beautiful beautiful members of the channel um, I just wanted to say that look this is just a game it has no bearing on my life at all realistically but the joy that I've just experienced from getting a virtual pet that I had to click on a virtual man and woman for multiple multiple hours over like 50,000 clicks the joy I felt was immeasurable it was undescribable and if that doesn't tell you that as long as you enjoy something it does not matter what anyone else says or what anyone else thinks then I don't know what will because my girlfriend has no I oh, I'm not supposed to mention her I'm sorry I'm sorry let's go let's use a different person if I told my mum that I just got a virtual pet in a game, she's got no clue what I'm talking about. She doesn't care. She'd be like, oh, wicked. Do you want to like go outside and see the sun for a bit, maybe? And my response would be, screw you, mum. No, I don't. I want to get another virtual pet on my game. Thank you. And I'm going to feel good about that. So 
you need to be able to do the same. Enjoy what you enjoy. Don't let anyone else tell you what to think or what to do. Just have fun. Smile. But more importantly, have a laugh. Have a bloody laugh. And that's it from me. See you later. And last but certainly not least, the channel members. So at the Soothsayer tier, we've got Scott Reeve, Matt W, Radio Los Santos for the win, and the two new Soothsayer members, Delando and the biggest MHG. Thank you so much. And our newest and first Oracle tier, Diggy Dog SP. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome to the team. I'll see you all later. Mm-hmm.